Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today I'm going to show you how to turn your iPad into an external display for your iMac. Now the first thing you'll have to do is install an app called Air Display. And you can get this from the iTunes Store. Once you've installed Air Display, go ahead and launch it. Once the app launches, I'm given instructions to install the server onto my Mac. So it's telling me to go to my Mac enter avatron.com front slash 80. Once you go to the website, you'll be prompted to install a server. That server runs in the background and allows your iPad to connect to your iMac over your local Wi-Fi. Now it's important to note that this only works over the same Wi-Fi network. It will not work over 3G. Now that I have the app running on the iPad, all I have to do is go to my Mac to activate the connection. Once you install the app on the computer, you'll see an icon in the top system tray. There I can select Michael's iPad 3G. That will establish a connection with the iPad. You'll see the screen flash. And essentially I have a second desktop on my iPad. Now for anybody who has used a side-by-side -side display setup, uh, this should be pretty familiar. This is basically like connecting another monitor directly to your computer, although the connection is through Wi-Fi. And all you have to do is drag Windows to this display. So let's go ahead and drag my email right here and slide over. Because the iPad is a touchscreen, this essentially gives me a touchscreen external display, which is kind of neat. But it is limited. It's not like having the touchscreen functionality on your iPad running its native apps. All you can do is basically click or select, and it's a little clumsy. Of course, you can just use the mouse like you would on an external display. But if you really wanted to, you can go ahead and select with your finger. You can move this around. Unfortunately, you can't pinch the zoom or your scroll. Even multi-touch doesn't work. But you can click and hold the scroll bar. Or if you want to resize the window. So this frees up my desktop, allows me to keep an eye on my email while I'm doing something else that's filling up the screen on my desktop. Now because the iPad is using Wi-Fi to connect to the iMac, that means there's a lot of lag, so you can't use an iPad to playback video. So let's grab something from iTunes and show you what I mean. So I'm playing Star Trek here. I'm going to drag it over to the iPad. Now you can see it's pretty herky-jerky, and that's because it's running like a VNC client, basically capturing images of a desktop on the iMac. So it's not an, a direct feed like a real display would be. It's a virtual feed through Wi-Fi. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a demonstration of how to turn your iPad into a secondary display. Thanks for watching.